now finally we came to the third part of our wordpress installation process and this is the final part actually suppose if you are directly coming that if you are directly watching this video without watching the uh, my previous two parts i have the two part links on this uh, video you just go go through those two videos and you can get a better understanding about this installation process so now we will let's get started with the installation of uh, wordpress and we have our de uh, installation details like database and uh, user to database password to database and uh, host host name and uh, let's go back to the ht doc folder as in the earlier video as i said that this ht doc folder will be located in exam folder inside the c drive so if we want to create any new website or if we want to create something new we need to create first we need to create uh, a folder for that website in htdoc folder then only we can able to access that uh, website through localhost directory so now uh, go ahead and create a directory here test.com my website is test.com and uh, open that folder and now go to wordpress.org and download the latest uh, wordpress installation file I, ha I already have this file so and uh, this is my webs uh, website folder and copy all these wordpress files into this test.com folder it will take some time a few minute a few seconds after copying completed now open your web browser and here we need to know one more thing is localhost localhost is a special address that register in your uh, in for your computer to access to exam folders suppose if you open local uh, local host then exam uh, control panel will come and for the, uh, if you if we want to access to our website you need to open localhost slash your website folder whatever the website folder you created in ht doc folder that means I created here uh, test.com right so localhost slash test.com so uh, we, we copied all those wordpress files into here and we didn't configure our wordpress configure file so it will ask you to create a configure file click on configure file and we have all those details right so let's go and give database name what the database name database name is test okay and the username is test123 I think let me just check yeah test123 and uh, password is sorry user is test password is test123 and host is local host that's that's it and the very good pra practice is don't let your word uh, wordpress database file just like uh, wp dot slash put something like uh, wp12 or wp or any other thing otherwise test one two something like that don't let your uh, database prefix just like uh, wp that is a best practice actually and click submit Okay, now re uh, click on reinstall. And here we need to give the titles for this website test123 admin and uh, don't give username as admin, whether it is your local installation or in your uh, online installation for anything, don't give username as admin and give something other than admin go p 
123 something like that give some password and give you a username sorry email and uh, here you no need to check this box because you don't want search engines to index your website of course so ma uh, many search engines cannot do that because you are installing it locally so click on check that box and click install wordpress just wait for few seconds there we go and now click login and yeah installation over so user is go p123 password and login yeah that's it finally it's over so with this you can test your themes or plugins whether it is working properly or not before you go to online to your version website uh, like uh, www something example.com something like that before you that you can test your website locally whether it is working fine or not and one more you one more very imp uh, important use it is very fast suppose let's uh, let's see and click uh, I mean I'm going to show you how fast it is so uh, for that I'm going to install one uh, one plugin some plugin see as you can see this is very fast process than your online procedure because there you need uh, your website need to get all those instructions from your uh, low, uh, some server but here everything you are doing internally to your uh, in your computer so you will do ev every process very fast and also you know, as I, as i said earlier you can test before you are going into online so this is is uh, finishing for our XAMPP uh, installation procedure, XAMPP installation procedure and WordPress installation procedure. If you like these videos, click thumbs up and uh, you can interact with me in comment section. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another video with another topic.